Hello, my dear viewers. Welcome to this reading. This reading is for all Sagittarians and it is for January onwards, 2024. I hope you'll enjoy this reading. This is about everything you need to know. My dear Sagittarius, where you're at, what's happening, why certain things are taking place. A lot of your questions will be answered when you look at this reading. You will understand why certain things are taking place in your life and what is coming and what is important for you to know and how to tackle everything. So I hope it, uh, you enjoy it. I hope it guides you, supports you and helps you. My dear viewers, I'd like to take this opportunity to um, wish everyone watching this video the greatest Happy New Year. Happy 2024. I wish you a lot of prosperity, a lot of protection, a lot of safety, and a lot of happiness, more than anything else. And it, with that being said, let me begin to see what is the most important message. And there it is for all Sagittarians. And we have achievement. It looks like to me that you are doing well. It says win an, you, will, you will either win an award, some sort of accolade, or a contract. You're winning something big. It could be a big award, it could be a contract, it could be an accolade, uh, achievements, accomplishments, all being um, recognized by the universe and by your life, people around you and your company where you're working. I see matters of family also being recognized, your achievements, what you've done for family and teamwork, teamwork also. So achievements, big time. Let's have a look at the tea, uh, the tea leaves and see what is what are some of the messages that... Um, I meant for you. So we'll start with the first one that my eye went on to. Okay, the second one. Um, three and four. Or maybe five. Okay, so. And this one stayed behind for a reason, so I'll take it. Now, let's have a look at the messages. I'll just put these cards away. And the messages are. So we have November. This is your month, usually, my dear Sagittarius. Some of you are born in November. Um, November, which is uh, it's going to impact. Around your birthday, something big is going to be impacting. It could be somebody born in, in November. So April is going to have a big impact on your life also. Let's see what's happening. And it says Haystack. Uh, Haystack is about um, trying to find yourself, trying to find something in your life. According to the um, tea leaf, it says Karma. You will reap what you have sown you will reap what you have sown so that is wonderful it's about karma it's about what you've been giving out that's what you'll be getting give, getting back so whatever you've been given uh, giving out to people in your life or what you've been um, doing in your life is going to come back at you and give you if you've been doing well it's coming uh, if you've been doing bad it comes back it's just karma but it seems to me that you have been doing exceptionally well because wealth is coming so wealth on a high scale. And then March, something big is happening in March. And I think it could be to do it could be to do with um although this looks like it's wilting, uh this flower. There could be some good news or bad news, but something big is happening here. Whatever is happening, wealth is coming, and there is a misunderstanding that you need to clarify. A misunderstanding. The wall, that means there's a barrier. Something has been misunderstood. So a misunderstanding that needs clarification. Okay, so now that we've established that, I'm going to go with important cards. Two messages from the universe for all Sagittarius for January. We have the first one, and we have the Queen Bee. This is beautiful. This is about a very, very... Um, a sweet result after working so hard and doing so much. I feel like you are going to be elevated to level of the queen. The queen bee is where all the soldier bees um, work for, take care of, sacrifice all their life for the queen. And this is the queen bee, not the actual worker. So I can't say um, you'll be working hard. The hard work is paid off. It's gone. Now it's time for you for to, to be rewarded, to be sitting back and the world and the universe and people around you to recognize you and start giving you time to receive. That's why we've got wealth here. And we've got the queen bee where you are going to be the queen, where you are going to be receiving all kinds of rewards, a lot of rewards for everything you've done, for all your achievements. Extraordinary rewards are coming. And with that is going to be a wealth on top of everything else. 
So the bee is spectacular, the queen bee. It's absolutely gorgeous. So we've got the queen bee there. And we've got number um, 11 there. Uh, that could be something connected to you. I mean, it, it is, of course, November. We've got November. Chinese ear of the dog is the other one I can think of here. Chinese ear of the dog. Okay. The next card, it says, my home is my castle. This is where you feel happy. This is where you are going to be finally reaching to a level where you are living in the place, which is going to be your home, the one that you love. You are choosing where to live. It's going to be your choice. You are making the decision, leaving everything behind and choosing your home. I feel like something is becoming uh, to an, an ending. There's a finale of some sort, some sort of ending. And after this ending, you are finally going to be feeling um, at home. It's like you don't want to be anywhere else. It's like you're finally realizing that your happiness is at home. And I feel also like you are finally going to know what you truly need and what you truly deserve. 39 um, is connected to the Chinese year of the tiger, Chinese year of the monkey, but Chinese year of the pig more than anything else. It's about an ending. It's about a challenge that you are going to overcome and finally know that this is, you know, where you're at. And you want to spend more time at home also. You want to leave everything behind you and spend more quality time at home. Let's have a look at two messages for all search for January from this deck and we have the queen of pentacles you might be um concerned or dealing with someone of earth energy virgo taurus or capricorn i'll find out who this person is uh when i do the clarification there is teamwork there's number three again teamwork family business money a lot of money a lot of glory is being made from a business um or teamwork a lot of glory something glorious is being done that's for sure and of course we've got wealth as um, I was just finishing saying, now we will go to the next level. And the next level is two more messages for all search for January. We have the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is all about your wishes, dreams come true. Now this, uh, coming with this card here about my home being my castle, could be that some of you could be purchasing your own home. You could be finally choosing where you want to live. Um, renovating your home or actually deciding where your home is and some of you are literally on the process of selling upgrading or buying your own home with both of these cards so this is incredible okay um, happiness to the highest level and dreams come true a lot of blessings a lot of blessings here one more and we've got the four of pentacles wow this keeps coming this is an um, a large amount of money that can help you with real estate that's how big it is um it comes from inheritance it's unexpected out of the or out of the blue uh, it could be from an inheritance somebody passing but it's also could be a windfall so have a look at your money reading to know where this money's coming coming from because it's major it's big and this could be the one supporting you to get your dream home this could be the one helping you get your dream home and with wealth being um uh, has come out here for you uh my dear uh, my dear, and March, I'm thinking about March, I don't know why, um, I feel like my dear Sagittarius, something big is going to happen in regard to your home, something about a house, buying your own home, paying off your home, money might be coming to pay off your debts, pay off your mortgage, something big is happening, that's for sure, in regard to your home, and in regard to a lot of money, a lot of wealth, we'll see further to see what else is happening, because this is really big, okay, so, and that's that one there, so now I'm going to get three cards from this deck, three messages for all Sagittarians. So we have the moon, and it's amazing when I was shuffling, I saw the moon, and I remembered now the moon. A lot of clarity, a lot of hidden matters are coming to light so that you can see your path, so you know where you're heading and what your future will be. All the uncertainties are going to disappear with the moon because you will be enlightened to know the truth, you'll see the truth. Um, the next one, it says the Six of Cups, you need to leave the past, let go of the past. There might be nice memories coming from the past and there might be every now and then you, you, you know, you might go back to the past, try to leave the past behind you and you are going to be finally saying goodbye to the past. I also feel there may be situations of children, marriage, families, things that have gone wrong, but it's just leaving the past behind. That's what um, Six of Cups is all about. Even though there's nice memories from the past, but um, 
to leave the past behind. I feel like you are prepared. You should be prepared for something magnificent that's coming in your life. This new beginning. This could be the greatest beginning of a new love, or could be the greatest gift of all. The Ace of Cups is the greatest gift from the heavens coming for you. So that is amazing. And what you don't see coming is spectacular. Also, I won't take it. I'll just talk about it. A lot of rewards, major rewards coming your way. Great victories for a job well done. Wow, this is to do with your achievements. So I'll put it here. Okay. Let's see the sacred forest. I forgot to take the sacred forest for all Sagittarians, January. And it says you are in a position where you are thinking about things and really wondering what the best course of action is. I, I guess you might have discovered something uh, that might have been a little bit painful and you're trying to process it and asking all kinds of questions, wanting a long time. You are in the process of healing. You are in a very strong process of healing and you are going to heal without a doubt now my dear viewers my dear Sagittarius I'm going to see what else you need to know two messages that's the first one I see there is the hidden matters the the mask the golden mask shows that there were hidden matters that have come to light just like I talked about the moon and that's why you are feeling that you want time out you're not happy I feel like there is something that was sort of like a secret situation has come up and it's like you've discovered something and it's really sort of tormented you and and you are finally coming to terms with the truth maybe with the moon it's the moon is always there to show you the truth to prepare you for the truth but always remember you've got the haystack which is karma karma is going to be helping you supporting you to get exactly what you deserve and you know this is really important. If you've done the right thing, you'll get the right done by you. It's so simple. Now, finding money, theft, situations of theft, finding money. Maybe you'll find somebody's been, you know, stashing money away from you. There could be something like that uh, with the golden mask. Something hidden coming to, to light. Hidden matter. Hidden potential also can be discovered at this time. Um, careers in acting and assisting in social uh, media. Careers in... Um, in things that are unknown, unknown matters, like, you know, secret matters or detective work, all that. It could be affecting, where shall I put this? I'll put it over here. Yeah, okay, over here. Here we go. Now, the next one is a beautiful one, treasure, worry-free finances. Worry-free finances is a treasure for you. Um, it says money in, re in reserve, worry-free finances. This is about also hidden talent. So hidden matters are coming to light. Three cards of hidden matters with this and the moon. Hidden matters, hidden potential, hidden talent. You know, something that's hidden within you, you might be discovering it about yourself, you know, what you love about yourself or what you need in your life. You might come across it while you're contemplating. This stillness, uh, reflecting, is um, contemplating, going deep within and seeing what what is it that you need. So um, it's also about careers and executive situations, sales, and a lot of money coming your way, a lot of treasure. As you can see here, we've got the treasure. We've got the abundance coming from this side. So I feel like, you know, and wealth on this side, uh, being a queen, you know, being worshipped like a queen and wealth together, this is like magnificent. Or oh, how should I put this? Like that. Actually, I might put this one here first. Okay, let's, let's put it this way. And then treasure, right? And then wealth. Okay, treasure and wealth. That looks amazing. Like being um, a queen, it just means that you are going to be really adored, really appreciated, really recognized, and not only by the people around you in your life, by your work, by your company, but even more by the universe. And the rewards that are coming your way that are spectacular, these rewards are going to be so much, and there's so much victory that comes for you. That's why karma is going to give you big time. For all that you have done for everything and it looks to me like the majority of Sagittarians are getting rewards more than anything else major rewards easy money easy life dream life and being really recognized a lot of wealth and a lot of recognition and great victory so that is incredible this is absolutely amazing I am amazed at this 
at the magnitude of how everything is sitting, how everything is showing, that you are going to be adored and worshipped like the queen, like all the bees worship, and the treasure, the wealth, the money, the reward after reward. With the six of wands, they have countless rewards, applause, um, fame, recognition, and great victories, not one but many. So that's what we're looking at. That is massive. So all this hidden matter that comes out isn't going to um, do a lot of damage, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Oh, no, sorry. This was over here. All right. Now, my dear viewers, what I'm going to do is, I'll just put this like that, uh, go to the next level to see what else you need to know. Two messages for all Sagittarians. January. Wow, something magnificent is here. I love that. This card is magic. Now, freeing yourself, releasing from someone, releasing yourself, completely free yourself, they're saying it's time to take back control of your life. And that's what this is, you know. My home is my castle. Nobody can hurt you anymore. You're taking your heart away from someone. Uh, taking your life, yourself, away from someone. Uh, that's what another thing is. My home is my castle. Uh, and releasing yourself. And take control back of yourself. Why? There's a great reason for it. And I'll show you why. Because divine timing, divine, guiding angels, universe, whatever you pray to, the supreme power that governs all this uh, universe, is they, and it's, there, it's there letting you know it's the timing now that they are work in your love life. They want to bring you an amazing, amazing love life. Why? Because you're destined for utmost happiness. So it's going to be worth waiting for all this time. Maybe you haven't had the right person or you haven't had the uh, the right person hasn't been maybe ready. Um, or whatever happens, they say, free yourself. Now it's time for you to be uh, in the right situation. And I feel with the right situation is you being um, living the life that you want, getting the life that you want, the life of happiness, the life of blessings. So they are working in your life right now to get you to the next level. So if you are feeling sad because something is ending, it's all happening for a good reason. Everything happens for a good reason. If there's a misunderstanding with the wall, the wall of China, if there is a misunderstanding, you'll know it all happens to get you to the next level. Because ultimately, you are the queen of your castle. Right, now, uh, let's see what the message is for today. For all Sagittarians. It says balance. I'll just remove these. Balance is all about love. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So balance is about you standing for what you believe in and finally knowing that you are with someone who will accept and appreciate that in you. Okay, now my dear viewers, we're ready for clarification now we'll start with the queen of pentacles let's see what is this energy of the queen of pentacles i'll just take this one and put it over this one here queen of pentacles for all sagittarians oops there it is this is the one mm, feeling trapped because of someone now feeling trapped feeling restricted unhappy due to someone someone of earth energy virgo taurus capricorn uh, this is going to come to an end. Destiny is going to make sure of that. It's bringing you abundance of happiness, blessings, money, uh, also power, money, power, treasure, all coming to release you from this. You are going to be released completely and utterly. And I feel like extraordinary luck and money is going to be the cause of you uh, being free from this, not to mention you are destined for happiness. So it could be that freedom comes when you are released and when you are destined for happiness and a lot of luck and money are going to be treasure, uh, money, easy money coming your way. That's why um, I should have said, I don't know what I said, watch your money reading to see where the source of this big money is coming from so that you know where you're at. But certainly you will be freed from someone that has earth energy, maybe that's very um, controlling maybe or too restricted or you're just not happy with this person. Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, so that's that one. Now we know what's going on. I'll just leave this here. 
it's very hard to put the cards okay I'll put them like this so that restriction is going to come to an end some of you could be leaving a situation leaving someone behind even though it might be sad but you'll be leaving just to because you are getting freed this freedom now let's have a look at the uh, the moon I'm, I'm really interested to see what the moon is going to do for all Sagittarians what is going to be revealed and the mask with it let's see what's getting revealed what are hidden matters oh wow what's hidden is something that's out of your league out of your hands something that you have given your best shot and you can't win there's no winning there's only defeat every attempt has failed this is something very big something very excessive you are going to be needing a lot of healing away from this because you've tried so much you've put all your efforts into it and it's just been a battle over a battle over a battle and it's an area where you are totally defeated because you were trying to change someone perhaps someone that could never be changed you were trying to maybe put up with someone that you really cared about a situation where you thought maybe you'll improve it with all your loving with all your compassion with all your sacrifice but it wasn't it was an area where you could not change this person this person is someone that was probably set in their ways a bit controlling set in their ways and um, not possible to change them so healing is the only process and that's what's being revealed you're finally knowing you've got to let go of the past you've got to let go of the past it's a dead end even if it's to do with a business if you're working with someone and that person is so stubborn there could be this earth energy there could be any um, energy really it's not necessary earth i just feel like it's in connection maybe to money maybe some of you were working in business together because we've got the three of pentacles three of pentacles did show itself again here maybe it is connected to the three of pentacles uh, i i guess something from the past the past is here twice the six of cups but it's a dead end there's nothing you can do it's just not working and some of you this could be in relation to family this could be a family member this earth energy virgo taurus capricorn that you just can't win no matter what you do they're just not happy and there's no pleasing them and you're just going to let go of that let go of the past even if it's family you probably think how can we let go of family you do you just let them be and see them uh, do the right thing by them but don't expect anything from them like um when there's a family a family member that's very complicated you don't try to change them you you don't you don't try to be you don't try to spend too much time with them see them less and less and just do your duty for them and that's all uh, to keep away but don't try to change them and don't expect them to change i feel like this is a dead end absolutely in every way and the truth of the matter is you've got to let go of the past and stop holding on to something that's no longer working uh, if it's even a business even if it's a business or family or a teamwork kind of thing it's just not going to do well if you hold on to grudges or holding on to things from the past let go of the past and you will thrive you will prosper without a doubt okay now what i'm going to do everything is disappearing <laughs> i'll put this one here now uh because why i'm saying that I i'm concerned about okay we got to know about the moon there was uh, the, the ace of the ace of cups i want to know also about let's have a look at the ace of cups oops i took something accidentally oh where did this come from hmm okay now, my dear viewers, what are we doing? The Ace of Cups to see what the Ace of Cups is all about. For all Sagittarians. Now, oh my goodness, this could be in regards to someone of Earth energy mm, that you're leaving behind, leaving with a regret. Okay, this is really strange. I think they're using this as a, as a timing. Uh, this this uh, Queen of Pentacles is an Earth energy, someone like Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, which we're going to find out at the end who it is that you are overwhelmed with but leaving with a regret somebody is leaving with a regret uh, you're grieving the loss of this person also this person had earth in them even if they were probably fire or they were um, air energy they had a bit of earth in them maybe i feel like you're destined for a new love that's why this is happening a new life a new gift from the heavens and that's why this is coming to an absolute ending absolute ending and you're leaving this behind you so why because you are destined for a lot of happiness or something much more better much much more better you are destined for a lot of happiness uh, and this card has come up twice happiness is destined for you treasure is destined for you and a lot of elevation like the queen being the queen i love that like elevation to the highest level 
and a lot of treasure and a lot of happiness. Not to mention someone wonderful that's about to come into your life. And that's what the Ace of Cups is all about, giving you the greatest gift of all. Could be love because um, the angels are working, your angels working in your love life right now. Right now. So they're freeing you. Everything is coming to a conclusion because you are destined for a lot of rewards. Ten of Cups twice. Um, in reference to, this came in reference to the Ace of Cups, the greatest gift of all. Do you see that? And then you've got the angel saying, free yourself, we are going to give you the greatest gift. So it could be money, treasure, we talked about treasure, or it could be love, the greatest love. But certainly they're saying, free yourself and take control of your life, something is leaving your life. Someone will be taken away out of your life. Maybe not permanently, but you're grieving the loss of that person. Another factor. So the Five of Cups is grieving the loss of this person. So you're leaving this person behind. And once you do, happiness starts. Life begins with a lot of happiness coming your way. Okay. So that's that one. Let's have a look at the Queen. This is very important. The Queen Bee. I'd love to clarify that and see what's going on in regard to that message. You are going to take action and you are going to be the executive. This is about a will maybe, inheritance. You are going to be the executive controller of the money. That's why you are becoming the bee uh, because of this. Have a look at this. Now, you are going to take action and you'll be able to go to take action to be able to move. And what's amazing about all this, the queen and the money, there's a treasure for you. You are going to be the beneficiary of this treasure. If there is a passing, if there is a contest, you are going to be the only winner. So if there's, um, say, 30 million and you win, you are going to win them all. You are going to be the one. And there is an amazing treasure for you. They've doubled, whenever they double something for me, a message, it's just to show us the magnitude of that. And this is unexpected, large amounts of money that can be inheritance at times. Sometimes they can be a windfall, but they are money that you want to hold on to. They are money that are life changing, ground changing money. That's what's coming. You've got the treasure and you've got the bee being worshipped, uh, the queen bee, because the queen bee, unlike other queens, it gets to be worshipped. Every bee kills themselves for the sake of bees. I have had bees in the past in my farm. So I do have an idea what the bees are all about. Okay, so in my hobby farm, I had bees. Okay, and um, again, there is an earth energy here, very strong earth energy. I feel like this earth energy could be someone that might be uh, connected to this. It could be the person that's passing. I don't know. We'll see. Let's go further into the next level. And the next level is the Ten of Happiness. Let's have a look at the Ten of Cups. And then I'll do the Three of Pentacles. But the Ten of Cups, because it has come up twice. Ten of Cups. It goes, your wish comes true and you are going to be empowered. Someone of fire energy that's going to be by your side supporting you. This is your card. I usually call the Queen of Wands the Sagittarius card. My dear Sagittarius, someone like yourself who might have Sagittarius within them will be very supportive. By your side, you are uniting together. One of your wishes is being granted, giving you abundance of joy and happiness. So I feel like whatever your wish might have been, it's coming and it's happening. And I feel like you are going to achieve a lot. You are going to achieve heaps, actually. And finally, I feel like you are going to have your home, your dream home, um, and a lot of treasure with that. So treasure is coming. Your wish is coming. Uh, it could be that you wanted to have your home. It could be that you wanted to have happiness. And it's in regard to happiness that I'm doing this question. And it's saying you are going to achieve all the happiness that you want. And you are going to be feeling um really what's the word favored by the universe and your guiding angels there's so much being given to you and so much rewards so much karma is coming back to you for all that you have done so maybe somebody's going to help you pay off your house maybe something big like that is happening i don't know but it's big whatever it's happening is very big i feel like you're elevating to higher levels beyond where you are today so this is all happening for you starting january now I'm going to do the final one, which is the Three of Pentacles. It did come up twice, the Three of Pentacles, twice. 
I'll just show it to you again so you can see what I'm talking about. Two different decks. So let's have a look at this. Um, this is sometimes, well, it's, it's, it's all about, the Three of Pentacles is about union, working well together in team and making glorious profits. Let's see, for all Sagittarians, what is this all about? What is the Three of Pentacles going to do? It looks like to me you're leaving. You're leaving a situation. And this could be to do with leaving family. Sometimes it's family home. There is a new beginning destined. That's why you're leaving. You're seeing things clearly. As someone is being very supportive. Fire energy like yourself, either Sagittarius or Leo or Aries. I feel like you're leaving a situation with regret, but you're going. It could be an end finale of to a business or working team together or... It could be a finale uh, when it comes to leaving a family member. Maybe you were living or commitment, leaving a relationship. Some of you could be leaving a relationship, family, children, leaving it behind. And you, you are regretting it. You're not happy doing so. Uh, but you are destined for a new life. I feel like there is a new beginning, a new uh, destiny destined for you. I can see you're leaving the past behind and there could be children involved. So it's not going to be easy. But uh, it is a relationship that you've done your best and uh, this partnership is just not long, uh, not going anywhere. But you need to always remember, despite of everything I'm saying here, you've got to remember the main thing. You see, you take the good and the bad. And the good is this. You're destined for a dream come true, one of your dreams, and you're destined for a lot of happiness. And not to mention abundance also, on top of everything, money and lots of it. So whatever is happening, my dear Sagittarius, you are going to be getting a treasure you are going to be adored you are going to be the divine is helping you get exactly what you need a great love is coming there's going to be a soulmate to support you and a lot of money is coming so in every possible way you can't lose now let's have a look at the star sign combination of the person that you are going to be overwhelmed with dealing with on a high level consumed with in january what are their star sign combination we'll take up to five cards let's see so one has opened up Virgo. I knew there's Earth energy there. Let's see. Maybe Taurus will come up too. The true. Maybe Aries. There's fire energy. Okay, so we've got Aquarius, air energy. We've got Cancer. We need two more. And the ones that double up are the main ones. Okay, so two have come up. And I said that. Jupiter, Sagittarius like yourself. And there's the Aries I was talking about. There's the Aries. Jupiter, like yourself, fire. So there's fire energy without a doubt because we do have got this king and we got uh, the queen also before. Um, so we've got the fire energy. Now we know there's the king and the queen. So there's the fire energy here. Now that could have been, this could have been yourself and someone like Aries, fire energy, yourself. That's Jupiter, that's Sagittarius. You and someone, Aries, Aries, there it is, fire energy. Uh, there could be a relationship that is either coming to an end or improving and moving forward but i do see an ending so there is that now i'm trying to work out who the earth energy is for because there is earth energy also involved twice we've got the king and the queen of earth and the earth energy is someone that has virgo in them taurus or capricorn but we've got earth they could also have cancer in them or aquarius or i feel like aquarius is there more than anything else and the aquarius could be in uh, the aries uh, or in the earth that makes them somewhat uncomfortable, unstable. But the earth and water are very good with you. They go beautifully with you, my dear Sagittarius, because you are fire. You give warmth to the Cancer. The Cancer gives you coolness, and the Virgo gives you ground, which you need to, to regenerate, to expand, to move forward, to thrive, to be a family, to have generations coming <laughs> from you. So, my dear um, Sagittarius, there is water, earth coming into your life. I feel like this could be... Uh, after you're released from something that wasn't doing well, uh, I feel like Earth is going to help you move forward. Uh, and uh, I feel like also fire is going to be there because it's going to support you. So fire energy, there could be someone that is Earth with fire in them. Uh, the fire could be other, like yourself, Sagittarius or Aries. But I do feel like air can disrupt situations. So if there is someone that might have air energy, which is Aquarius, it might not be so much, but it might be a temporary situation. If, say, for example, if you were with an Aries that might have had Aquarius in them, the relationship, the sexuality, the sensuality, the intimacy would have been spectacular. 
but um, ultimately uh, this is someone like wouldn't want a long term like it wouldn't be something that you it wouldn't go well with you because there's no room for you to grow unless there's earth in the situation and that comes to Virgo if you had if you were dealing with an earth and someone that has fire in them and earth uh, or a, that would go well that would go spectacular you can build mountains with this person I just feel like they're saying free yourself and there is an ending so I can't imagine you being with that combination so that's why I feel now what's coming in your life is earth and water they might have a little bit of fire Sagittarius like yourself or even a little bit of Aries but they've got earth and cancer Virgo cancer Virgo cancer earth water this is what's going to make you thrive. This is what's going to take you to the next level. This is what's going to give you that happy ever after. You are destined for happy ever after. That's what the guiding angels are telling me. They are working in your love life to bring you utmost blessings and happiness and endurance and uh, growth to be a family, to grow, to have generations. So some of you are in wrong relationships. You'll be removed. Those wrong relationships are going to be removed so that you can move on to a better relationship which is earth and water with fire or without fire just earth and water you'll you'll do exceptionally well and you'll move forward and build families and generations and a lot of blessings are coming your way this is spectacular i can't wait to hear your comment about this do give me a thumbs up do support me in watching the videos till the end please don't stop them in support of me so if you don't want to watch till the end just let it run its course so that it doesn't stop because technical matters i get to be told that I've got to do, you know, really short videos and I'm not making it nowadays. I'm just, I've slowed down and the videos are coming instead of 15, 20 minutes to 30 minutes. So I would really, really appreciate your support only if you want to give it by seeing the videos through. With all my love, all my heart, all my blessings. Namaste.